Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your Mac. So let's get started. On the top left hand side of our screen, we're going to see the Apple logo. So just click on that Apple logo. You're going to see your third option where it's going to go into the App Store. That's where we used to go and do our updates way back in the day. So if you're way back, you haven't updated your Mac for a long time, older Macs as well, all your updates will be in the App Store. However, for most of you with newer Macs, or if you're not too back, too far back, you're gonna see your system updates right here under system preferences. Second option, click right there. So I would suggest going there, even if you don't see anything that's telling you they need an update, just go there. After you open it up, let me just zoom in so you guys can actually see, you will notice on the bottom left hand side, it's gonna say software updates. We're just gonna click on software update once we click there, you should see this, that this is your latest update. However, if you don't, you might notice on your left hand side underneath software update. So that's right here. You might see a little message that tells you that you can restore things back to default settings and that your updates are being downloaded from a specific website, which is an Apple website. But anyways, what you have to do is just click on the default settings and then you're gonna see this refreshing and giving you the latest update. I'm not 100% sure why Apple does that with certain Macs, so that happened to a few of my Macs, but not all of them. I think it's because it's trying to do that just to help people out that have beta versions. And every time you have a beta version, then you have to go through a whole thing in order to actually download a full update and not just stay in beta forever. Again, that's just what I think why they did that for some people. For others, you're just gonna see exactly what I'm looking at right now. Anyways, right now we're just gonna click on update now, but before I do that, I wanna show you how big this is. So if I click on more info, I'm gonna see this, that it's one gig. That means this should download pretty fast for most of you. It does depend on your internet speed. And the installation process, well, that depends on your Mac. So it will require restart, which means you should not be doing anything on your Mac, just make sure you have a good backup just in case something happens. I do recommend using Time Machine for that, which is something pre-built into your Mac regardless. So right now we're just gonna go ahead and click on install now, or we could have just clicked on update now. Then we're gonna see this, which is to click on agree. Once we do that, it's just gonna download the update. Now during the download, it doesn't really matter if your Mac turns off for any reason, we can just re-download this. However, during the installation, it does matter. We might have to even restore the whole thing if an error happens. So if you're running this on a MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, just make sure you have enough battery. Even if you do, I would still hook it up some electricity just in case. And for Mac Minis, iMacs, just make sure they're not turning off by themselves for any reason. Right now, for me, uh, my download process is kind of fast because I'm not really downloading anything else on my other computers. So that's why this is going okay speed. Uh, afterwards, it's just gonna install. For now, I could just leave my Mac and just let it do its thing. It's just gonna restart by itself. Sometimes, and only sometimes, a Mac will ask you to click on restart and inside here, inside this little thing, and then that's it. But that's if you have other programs running. So I would just suggest to close everything down so you can just let your Mac be. Later on, we're gonna see an Apple logo, a loading bar. It's just gonna restart. And that would be it for this update. It's a really small update, really quick, and for sure you need it. So if you just left your Mac to be, it would just restart by itself. It'll give you about a 20 second countdown, and that's about it. However, if you didn't get that, you would see something like so. And right here, you will see the option to restart now. So just click on restart now, and your Mac will turn off. You're gonna see an Apple logo and a loading bar. All right, so once you see the Apple logo and the loading bar, Again, it's just gonna restart. We're just gonna see that everything loads back in as normal, as you guys can see right now. And right here, you should see that your software is all up to date. And now we are officially done. So that would be it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.